Good morning, everybody. Actually, it's afternoon here in New Hampshire. It's about 129, but on the West Coast, it's morning. So I guess I can say good morning. I just wanted to stop in and um, ask you. I don't know whether you knew, but I know I didn't two and a half years ago, what the difference was between hemp and marijuana. And um, I really had not known that marijuana and hemp were in the same family. I didn't know that um, marijuana was the plant, well, I guess I did know, uh, that marijuana was the plant with the psychoactive and hemp I thought was rope or clothing or other things. I had no idea what they were. So I thought I would have some fun today and tell you the difference between hemp and marijuana. So I have a little cheat sheet here I'm going to put up in front of my face. So the difference between hemp and marijuana. So hemp, it's tall, it's lengthy, it can grow 10 to 20 feet high. That's a tall plant. High concentration of CBD, which is the um, non-psychoactive cannabinoid that helps you to be healthy and not high. And it is grown around the world mostly for fiber and used in textiles. And hemp seeds are the seed of the plant known as cannabis sativa. So hemp seeds, you've probably seen in your local grocery store. Um, they're called hemp hearts. There's hemp protein. There's all sorts of things that um, is from the hemp plant. And um, it's a food nutritional supplement. CBD is the compound in the hemp plant that helps you um, to be healthy and not high. Then on the other side of the plant, there is, or the spectrum if you will, there's marijuana. It's short and bushy grows about waist high, has a high concentration of THC, it's grown for the psychoactive effect, and there's no industrial application. So THC is in the marijuana plant, and that's what gets you high. If you smoke marijuana, then um, it gets you high, and there are some medicinal properties in that compound as well, but um, for the most part, it's just just for the for the psychoactive. It's short and bushy because over the last 20, 30, 40 years, it gets trimmed, it's been grown and generated so that it's short and bushy because THC is found in the flowers and in the leaves of the plant, um, which is what they smoke. And um, in hemp, the healthy part comes from actually the stalk of the plant. So the CBD extract is grown um, from the stalk and extracted. There are several different extraction methods and, and whatever, but that's another video I can tell you about in a few days. So the other thing I wanted to show you today was the history of hemp, because most people are like, well, hemp hasn't been around for that, that long. Well, here's that little cheat sheet that I have. So industrial hemp has been grown in the U.S. since the first European settlers arrived in the 1600s. That would be way back when. So hemp was grown in Europe, and we brought it over on the ships when we came here. The War of 1812 was fought over the hemp trade. And part of that was that England depended on um, the hemp plant that was being exported back to them to pay taxes um, for their sales and for their rope and for all of those things. They made hemp clothing. They made all sorts of different products from the hemp plant. So the entire whole hemp plant was used. The Declaration of Independence was, was drafted on hemp paper. So that actually is one of the things that led to the Marijuana Tax Act um, was over the paper trade because hemp grows to full height, that 10 to 20 feet, in as little as um, 12 weeks. So depending on the climate, that's when it, what, uh, what it grows to. Paper takes 26 years to grow a tree. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and John Adams all were hemp farmers, and they advocated for hemp um, production. In fact, right now in U.S. Congress, there is a bill that is uh, out there to actually legalize and take hemp off of the Schedule One drug list because of its CBD component of the plant. That's the cannabinoid that's the most, most plentiful. So um, the House and the Senate are voting on it now, and hopefully within a few short months, hemp will be legal to grow here in the U.S. Currently, it is not legal to grow unless you have a state exemption. 
hemp was a stable crop in the 1800s for American agriculture. So if you think about it, hemp was grown in the 16, 17, 1800s, even the early 1900s, and we grew this plant. It grew to 20 feet tall. It got thrashed down. The, the stock is used for different things. The oil inside was extracted for 90% um, of the medicines in the U.S. came from the stock of the hemp plant um, up until the, the early 1930s. And then the, um, all of the other components, the seeds and whatever, were used as food supplements. And that's really kind of an interesting phenomenon because now we've kind of come full circle we're realizing that this plant was taken out of our food chain. So we would cut the, cut the crop, the animals would go there, we would have them graze, and they would um, eat, the, eat the hemp plants. They were healthier. Also, when we ate their meat or we ate their eggs, then we were healthier because we were ingesting the hemp plant second or third time through. So it's kind of an interesting thing. Um, back because of man's greed in the 1930s, the Marijuana Tax Act came into effect. And basically, all of the hemp farmers that were growing hemp were told, if you continue to grow hemp, we're just going to tax you on it. So it was taxed into oblivion. Also, people that bought products that were made with hemp in the U.S., were taxed on that highly. So that's why hemp disappeared from our food chain. That's why hemp has not been around for the last couple of years. And now we're realizing that hemp is something that we should all have. So if you have questions, if you'd like more information, please private message me down below and let me know um, what your question is and I'll answer it online. Or if you want to private message me, you can. Um, I do educational seminars on the hemp plant and the difference between hemp and marijuana. Because there are lots of people out there, just like maybe a couple of you, that don't know the facts, that would like to have the history of hemp, would like to know that. So if that's something I can help you with, then please let me know. I'm looking for organizations here, hopefully locally in New Hampshire or New England. And, um, and hemp has 50,000 different uses. So it's not only clothing and rope and for a CBD supplement or for hemp hearts. It can also be used for 50,000 different things, including the last fact of the day. If um, you, we maximized what hemp can do, it can totally replace petroleum, hemp biofuels, all sorts of